A boxing gym in Detroit is making a difference in kids' lives in a special way. AJ Walker joins us now. Now, AJ, you went to the downtown boxing gym and you yeah. really got to see how this gym is impacting kids' lives. Yeah, Chris, as soon as I walked in the building, it was very uplifting. Some kids were studying, they were eating healthy meals, they were exercising, but of course, at the end of the day, it was all about boxing. Getting into the boxing ring takes a lot of stamina, strategy, and heart. And at the downtown boxing gym, these are just some of the principles young fighters are learning. Throwing punches and ducking blows are also life lessons. You gotta put that work in. If you wanna be a champion, if you wanna be a decent fighter, you gotta train every single day. And that's the same thing in real life. They even use the losses as a teaching tool. If you do lose, you take from what happened, you study that, and you come back stronger and better. And the same thing can be applied to real life. You might not get that position you want the first time. You know, you might not, you might not pass nursing school the first time. You might not pass this class. But come back, see what you messed up at, and study. Today, Coach Clay DeBose is sparring with 16-year-old King Bethel. King hopes to one day grow up to be a fighter. There we go. But he looks at the time he spends at this gym as a place to get tools to help him and others fight through life. Those who are less fortunate, they, they can come here and have a place where they can be fed, they can be coached, they can be trained for life. You know, it's, it's not a short-term thing. And Coach Clay says he's in it for the long haul. It gives different kids a chance to really get in the ring and, you know, express themselves in the ring, you know, because a lot of kids, especially in their, in their neighborhoods, they don't really have a chance or an outlet. They come and escape from, you know, whatever might be going home in their community or at home, and they come here, they get they get meals, they get, uh, you know, we get them gifts during Christmas, you know. We really care about these kids, and it's, it's a boxing gym, but it's more than boxing. You know, we do homework, we help them with the SAT, you know, studying for that. Uh, we tutor them, where we need help with, you know. Downtown boxing gym owner Kali Sweeney takes us on a ride and tells us what inspired him to start this gym right in the old neighborhood he grew up in. I started the boxing gym because it was a, it was a lack there. It was something that was missing. It was something that was actually needed. Um, the kids in our community needed a, a, a place to go and, um, in the area that we were first located and it wasn't a lot of stuff over there to do. So I saw the need. Kali says he wasn't a boxer himself, but he saw boxing as a way to get and keep kids attention, which would lead to other things. I'm going to use boxing as an icebreaker to a bigger conversation, which is how are you doing in school? How are you doing in life? How are you, you know, how's things, how are things at home? You know, I'm, I'm going to ask the critical questions like, where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? It was a, a, a monumental task. I didn't, I didn't actually know um, how much it was going to cost to do this, especially out of my own pocket. So I went in it with it like this idea that everybody was going to jump on board and jump behind it. And... That wasn't the case, and I ended up homeless after I did it. So I ended up sleeping in my car, and a lot of the parents used to come to me and be like, man, you know, bring me food, and they would see me sleeping in my car. But I just said, we got to stick with this because this is a great idea, and it's a great plan. 14-year-old Anaya is just one of the kids who's living proof that this is all worth it. She trains at the gym regularly and has big goals for herself, and the gym is keeping her on track to making them a reality. One, two, one, two. When I grow up, I just want to be like the best girl boxer in the world. Like everybody look up to me what they need or anything. And other than boxing, I want to be like a nurse or something. I think that will help. All of our kids are good kids. But what I see is like a lot of um, now more community thinking. Like I'm doing this for my community. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm not just doing it for my family. I'm doing it for the, the greater good of the whole community. Callie, the owner, says they have about 200 kids attending that gym and everything they offer is free. Yeah, I noticed how busy it was in there. Now, yeah. what did you notice about the kids at that gym that really made them stand out? The first thing I noticed is they were not on their cell phones. That's good. And I, I looked around, I was like, wow, this is different. Um, just to see them, they were so disciplined. And he'd like, 
chant something and they respond back, but like positive chants, um, different slogans he had for them and, and mantras that uh, he was teaching them to live by. Yeah, such an impressive coach and the owner. He actually became homeless trying to start this gym. Yeah, and one of the things he told me is he said, you know, 200 kids attend this gym, but you need to multiply that by so many more because the impact is greater when you think they're, they're positively impacting their families, their communities, their schools. So all the things these kids kids are learning at this gym, they're taking it out in their communities and it's making a bigger difference. Yeah, such a great gym. Thanks for uh, bringing awareness of it to us, AJ. You're welcome, Chris.